Good afternoon, uh, Alexei Peshek, Security uh, Division uh, Company, uh, and I will uh, tell you a little bit about our product, uh, OEBA. We speak about certain pains, uh, specifications, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the development of our product, and uh, we talk about attacks that UEBA can uh, Сразу расскажу, Track. что это некая первая часть. Let me tell you first that this is a certain first part of the presentation. The second part of the presentation will be presented by an expert who worked with UEBA and worked on it more closely with the clients. And it's going to talk about falses and other things. Начнем мою часть. So, let's start my part. It's more... И начну с очень интересной фразы. Observant, so to speak. Потому что мы часто тем, что... It's not a CM. Oftentimes we get to the point, so why to UEBA system in many cities? Мы же позиционируем, что у система — это все-таки отдельный продукт, некая машинка, которая запускает различные другие движки, каких-то таких спорных вещей в виде корреляции, Certain things and correlations are different here, and it's sort of a symbiosis that helps us to enrich data. So let's look at the scheme. It looks similar on CM's processing. We find different sources here. Всего спектра различных Здесь, в принципе, можно сказать стандартно. И может быть некая наша особенность. Это мы передаем три движка. Первый движок — это мотоцикл. Про правила корреляции. И я вам расскажу вам об этом. And maybe some of you will have questions about it. And then, of course, for each event, we create certain alerts, we structure them, and we assign different weights to them. Может быть, уже создан инцидент. Самое лучшее всего работа. Это инцидент в SOAR. Мы даем инцидент в SOAR. Но некоторые из наших клиентов могут его отправить в CM. Это зависит от того, что вы хотите. Начнем с первого движка. Статистика. Первое, Statistics gives you more accurate and interesting indicators than machine learning and ways of correlation. Everything depends on the infrastructure of the client and the use of technologies that is in infrastructure. So we focus your attention that each engine is the helps us actually. So we rely on statistics. Веса, и уже в системе преднастроено разработка где-то в районе больше 50 правил для этого моста движка. Какие-то определенных правил оценка. Начну с того, что все настройки у нас от Потому что на первых этапах создания UBA, на первых версиях была история. Settings are open and UBAs they were. Но они были скрыты с точки зрения UI. Hidden 
UX. А And, uh, заказчики спрашивали, почему мы не можем это в UI. Вот как бы мы добавили эту возможность, поэтому so мы можем видеть различные настройки, которые настраивать. Uh, Uh, есть различные возможности со статистикой, и мы можем создать Да, это на это будет Infinitely. на вашу, можно сказать, загруженность и масштабируемость. Uh, возможности это есть. Есть различные машинки, модельки, которые отражают различные принципы различные преднастроенные данные like data, инфраструктуре заказчика либо обучение данных чтобы если kind of data, модельки вот заработали и они могли so обнаружить злоумышленника мы добавили различные also, и фишинга. Да, это все-таки полсовая история, но мы учитываем, что у EBA различных параметров, и каждый параметр вам дополняет регулировки и этой воронки, чтобы было менее фолсово. Control, so that uh, your detection would be less false. The same as uh, Matstat, we have detailed settings with the open JSON that can be controlled. Uh, there are different uh, parameters we can fight with false alerts. It looks at the data and shows you what to do to avoid false alerts. Every time, over a certain period of time, uh, we add models, so we rework these models and we update them. It comes to the system and it gets updated. So now, Uh, this question, with the correlation rule, the rules of correlation are quite lightweight. Rules of correlation, it gives you these rules of correlation that work. They don't store any events. They're pretty light. They kind of skip and kind of bring you sort of more attributes. Here we give you tools with the preset correlation rules for the network traffic, and you can add to these rules of correlation, and it gives you like древовидную структуру. Correlation rules have their weight, you can turn them off, uh, you can assign different ways to them, and with the tags you'll have different attribution to that. The capabilities of the platform gives you capability to respond to different incidents. You have certain buttons, additional buttons for that. The platform it works like a designer's toolkit and it allows you to broaden those actions that you can undertake. So the main uh, response are done in SOAR. Here we focus more on building kind of the initial protection and reaction uh, and, and response to different incidents. Before enrichment, you can add enrichment of internal external systems. You can add the attributes and you can send it back to SOAR. And in SOAR, you can have connection with intelligence platform and some other platforms. And there you can orchestrate 
Все это как раз нам позволяет сделать единая платформа, you, на которой построен и и другие продукты и вида iOS, менеджмента, NGSUAR, поэтому NGSUAR взаимодействуют и many others. So these platforms, closely connected, различными взаимодействиями. И возможность with different type of interactions. Процессов, and again, логика, that gives you a, a toolkit of uh, working processes. Uh, you, have, you can build uh, playbooks, you can build anomalies. You caught an anomaly, you caught an incident. Based on them, you can build playbook. And then it'll help you to interact between the platforms. So you can also have here the toolkit of roles, the toolkit of correlations. So the capabilities of the platform are pretty broad. Back to non-typical attacks. With our experts, we identified some non-typical attacks, and we think they can be covered with the UEBA, and could be dealt with the CM. These are different downloads of libraries, where libraries, uh, they're hard to be tracked down, but UEBA system has some profiling for them, and it can see uh, what libraries were used, and what typical behavior is, and what non-typical behavior is. Here it creates a, a network pipe, uh, some of program products and apps, they automatically build uh, network pipes towards uh, different pro processes, and you need to see where the anomaly is or where it doesn't, and big example is Cobble Strike that use named channels with random names, and UEBA system uh, can track that down and build its profiling of these processes. And we can set up a rule that as a result of this non-typical action, you can give it a higher evaluation. For example, there are inquiries to domains, different domains, rare domains. Зачастую, Often an employee does that, and with the CM system you can't identify that, and you may get a lot of false alarms. So we build profiling, we see the most common anomalies, less common anomalies, and it helps you build a structure of an incident. Then launching rare processes, in interpreters and uh, going around antiviruses. Those things are similar. Some techniques, especially defense vision, is pretty hard to catch with CM system. Especially uh, when it's done by somebody who is very experienced. And profiling helps here a lot. Profiling the action of launching processes and uh, actions in the network. They're pretty common, uh, yet quite peculiar uh, attacks. Uh, this is uh, turning to some rare resource, logins, and identifying uh, rare protocols. Those four attacks can be covered by CM system. But profiling is also done by additional system. So they may sound common, like additional attribute. We would say that it's better to do in the UEBA system. 
A pretty common scenario, fishing. We know that in certain stages we have the launch of non-standard libraries. We can see some attacks will be hard to detect by CMs and UBA will do it better. We need to build profiling. Nobody does that in the infrastructures. And it's not clear where there was a right download of the library, where it was correct download. At this stage of a common scenario of phishing, UBA helps us more here than CM. Теперь перейдем как раз к тому, как это выглядит в нашей системе. Now let's get to how it looks in our system. We can see there is an incident card. И хронология событий. Справа мы видим. You can see the history of event. Которые у нас как раз накапливаются. And you can see the events that are accumulated in the systems, and they come from different sources. And here is the examples from Microsoft Windows or backlog. Тегами подсвечиваем. With different tags. You highlight what engines caught the event, and in blue dots, in blue circles, you see the score of the event. And when you get a certain amount, uh, you see here 100. You, you can make this score smaller or bigger. Some people have 500, some people have 100. So, this incident is recorded here. Also in the system, there is a full review of the incident. We can see a certain list of incidents and what engine they get triggered with. There was machine learning, the rate of them, and the history of events. And another thing that platform helps with this is visualization. It gives you work with the data. You get dashboards, some analytical reports that you can send to different systems. Or you can send these entities to our system that will process all this.